Alright guys, so these are the last four models that I'm getting in February. It, it's two excavators and a trailer and a hook block. The hook block is my brother's and everything else is mine. This is what I was most excited to get. I got it from 3000 Toys. I don't order from them much because they're so far away it takes so long to ship out. I actually ordered this uh, last Thursday, and it's Thursday right now, so um, by the time that they get it uh, out to UPS, by the time it gets here, it's it's a week, and I hate waiting for stuff. So, that's one reason why I don't ever order from them. This is another reason to pack in peanuts. So. Uh, someone asked me what I take these pictures for. I take them from my Facebook page. Uh, since people enjoy seeing that. So, uh, the first model we have here is the A924. And this is in a custom livery. There's only 300 of these made. And this I, I actually was unsure of getting. And I only got it because of the livery, but I'm sure that I'm going to like it. I keep going back looking at reviews of the A924, and every time I look at a review of it, I really enjoy it. And that's that's very, very nice, I have to say. So, there it is. The green is very nice. I like that green a lot. There's only 300 of these made also, that's another reason what made me uh, get it. And that is super nice. I really like that green a lot. Uh, the decaling on it also made me uh, go for it. As you could tell, there's, there's a lot of nice decaling on it. And that's another thing that made me buy it. That's a super nice model. Even if it wasn't in the greenness, this is awesome. And uh, next week I have the R916 coming, which is basically the same uh, thing, but tracked. Or at least it looks like it. I, I don't know exactly. But this is super nice. I like this a lot. And uh, I don't, I'm not really into wheeled excavators also. And I, I like that a lot. And here's extra parts for it, like pins for the bucket. John Deere count, catalog. Uh, oh, here's the hook block. I didn't expect it to come like that. Uh, I have to say, NZG makes the best hook blocks. Uh, many of you know I have that YCC hook block. I'm not really too much of a fan of it. I was when I got it, but for some reason I, I just don't like it anymore. I don't know why. It's a 5 sheave 150 ton hook block. Uh, very nice. I seem to uh, come to the conclusion that the MZG hook blocks roll the best out of all the ones that I have. And this is actually my brother's, so I'm just going to pack it back up and uh, leave it for him. That's a very nice little hook block. Um, I guess this Next, this is I hate packing peanuts. Here is what uh, I wanted as soon as I seen it. This is a A954C high rise material handler, and as you could tell, it's definitely different looking. Um, I'm sure some people are not going to like it, um, but I really wanted that, and uh, also here's my tag trailer. But what I'm going to do here is actually move this box out of the way. That's I'm 
actually I'll use the box to open everything in. So this is not going to be interesting because I'm sure uh, some of you are going to wonder why I got it. I got it mainly for the library to be honest with you. Machine is, is so cool but the library is what made me got it. I would never buy the normal Lieber color one. But in this library, I just think it looks insane. And it, it's really what made me uh, order it, was the library. And here it is. That is insane. Just a crazy model. And here is the clamshell. So here's the attachment that you would run off the boom. It's a clam bucket. And it functions perfect. I actually probably wouldn't mind having the normal yellow one, but the colors of this one, I think, are some of the nicest colors on any model on the market right now. This is just an insane model. It looks just crazy with the big wheels and the solid rubber tires. And. Oh, those are stiff. I think it's just a crazy model. Um, I think that's insane. Um, you could tell just the size of it. And again, the colors, I think, are just completely awesome. I don't know what you guys think, but uh, they also make other models, like they make a loader and a Senebogan material handler, which unfortunately I won't be purchasing because I just don't like the look of those, of these colors on those models, but I think this this just looks insane, probably one of, going to be one of my favorite models, and it's a big one, so, um, that's the third one. Here's like the pins for the attachment. And lastly, which I'm gonna need a scissor for, is the first gear tag trailer. I don't understand why first gear packs it in this box. I'm pretty sure that they don't ship it in this box. The cardboard is like paper thin, uh, but I don't know why they do this, but it's one that I never thought that I would ever buy because I never had a truck for it, but I got the Oshkoshes now, and some are probably going to say it isn't meant for that, and I don't even know if it is or not, but I never thought that I'd buy this. Um, everyone that has it loves it, so I figured why not get it. It's the Beaver Tail trailer, or the, the tag trailer, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'm going to hook it up to my Oshkosh's. Uh, the bad thing about it is it doesn't, it's not level with the Oshkosh. So I'm just going to make a little adapter for it. Uh, what is this? Is it taped? Is it? Oh. And, wow, it's heavy. It's very heavy. It's all metal, and it's actually very nice for 30 bucks. Can't go wrong with it. Um, and they also give you the hitch, which is right here, to attach it to other trucks. Uh, for 30 bucks, I guess you really can't go wrong with it. It's actually uh, heavier than I thought. I didn't really, uh, you know, I wasn't. I guess you could say excited on getting this. It just kind of, I just. Ordered it on the side for the 30 bucks. I didn't really uh, mind if it was going to be good or not, but actually much nicer than I expected. It's all metal, too. Pretty simple model. So, anyway, to sum it up, it got the tag trailer, the A924 in Broadbeck, the massive. A954C in OBM and 
the hook block and I ordered these from 3000 toys and I want to let you guys know uh, normally you don't see me order models like these as in like you know uh, the smaller models and I'm gonna be ordering a lot more of these uh, smaller models this year because uh, last year I bought a lot of bigger like crane models and I would only have like one model per unboxing and this year I'm gonna focus on a lot of excavators and stuff like that so there's gonna be many more unboxings like this one so look forward to them uh, next week it's either Tuesday or Wednesday I don't know uh, for those of you on my Facebook page I'll update it on there but I'm, I'm also getting the Lieber R916 which is a trapped excavator and another Peterbilt 335 and uh, if you go on my Facebook page you could go to the album the models that I'm gonna get I'm gonna get 90% of those models this year so uh, many unboxings this year are gonna be like this one where I don't just unbox one big model uh, only big model I might get this year is an LTM 11200 mobile crane uh, but besides that gonna be many unboxings like this so I hope you guys like it I know I sure do because I got a lot of these cool models today but anyway guys Next week will be another unboxing, and uh, thanks for watching.